dysfunctional vet here with the first installment of War Stories. These stories are going to be various things that I've heard during my travels. My career spans from November 1973 to December 2020 with several breaks in service. And that's a long time, guys. So let me start off this little series of stories with things you might find fun. To begin with, there's a saying from Vietnam, believe half of what you see, half of what you hear, and nothing of what you say. That's a saying that dates all the way back to Vietnam. I was working in Colleen, Texas about 1970, I think, and I was working for a construction company. I was carrying uh, two by four, uh, two by twelve by twenties, and two by twelves by twenty fours, and two by uh, four by twelves by sixteen, I think. And I was carrying a bunch of these things. And there was an old carpenter by the name of Dan, if I remember, real cool guy. And he took me aside one time, and he says, uh, uh, "Bill Ray, I guess that was the fellow's name. That's what they called him anyway." said, uh, Bill Ray is going to tell you all kinds of war stories. He says, the man's a liar. Don't believe anything, but they're funny. He said, listen to him and have a laugh. It's about all you're going to get out of anything he has to say. Well, the guys were sitting around eating lunch, and I was there too. And this one fellow was telling this story about trying to get a razor blade because somebody had stole his pack that his parents had sent to him. And... When he concluded that, Bill Ray started telling this story. He says, well, I, I was over there, I just, uh, you know, somewhere around Saigon, not specific. And he says, uh, I was on this detail, and we were uh, helping the engineers to build this. Uh, it was about 40 feet long and 25 feet wide and at least 25, 30 feet deep. He was a... Uh, it was a big old pit. We were, we were doing the the work that had to be done by shovel, and the engineers were shoring everything up with these big uh, pylons and things like that. And I, I looked over at the corporal. I said, "Corporal, um, what what is this thing we're building?" And the corporal was just about to answer when I felt a, a tap on my shoulder. I turned around. It was the first sergeant. First sergeant said, this is a latrine, and this is where we're going to store all the BS that we have to put up with. Now shut up and keep working. 